And guess what happened? The bot actually died. It's just, I think, what, three rows left or something like that? And uh, I don't think I lost any pistons because uh, it was a good idea to have the bot, well, chunk load everything because as soon as the bot died, well, nothing was loaded. So nothing despawned. I came back here in the morning and just to check the progress, check if everything has finished and the bot was dead. Everything has been placed, no issues. I checked that side, there are no pistons missing. So every single row has gone just fine. Lots of bats spawning. And uh, yeah, I'll just finish these three rows myself manually. Actually, um, to be honest, I don't even know if I need to finish them because I have not checked how many, like how much space the, the bedrock breaker needs on this side. So it is possible that we have already placed too many pistons. I, I'll check that first, but uh, if if we need more pistons here, I'll just add them manually. It's no big deal. It's to three more rows, so it should take three minutes. And uh, yeah, the, 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 the pistons are pretty much like I predicted. That many left, I don't know how, like it's 300, so it's five stacks per row. So this is uh, that and one more. Uh, that was two rows. Uh, this is the third row, fourth row, and uh, a little bit more. So yeah, we used 50 Schalke boxes minus a couple of stacks if I do the three rows here, which I'm not sure if it's necessary. Uh, that's good to know. Now, well, I have to dismantle this and we need to build the bedrock breaking machine. And um, I'll, I'll pretty much just have the bedrock breaking machine run in the background in, in this episode because, well, there, there won't be much else to, to do with it because I will just need to babysit it for 10 hours or probably just AFK it completely because there is no reason to babysit it. It should just work fine. And uh, the floor placer is all cleaned up. I actually looked in the logs to see why the bot died and the reason is very simple and I should have thought about it because the exact same thing happened when I did the Neverward farm. It got shot by pillagers. I actually don't know like why uh, it was... Yeah, it was in this corner. Why did pillagers spawn here? Or did they maybe spawn up there or fell down and survived somehow? I have no idea, but... Uh, there were pillagers here and um, I did place the last row of pistons here and uh, mm, I am not exactly sure if it's even enough. I checked the bedrock breaker and the bedrock breaker only needs two blocks of margin here. Actually, yeah, so we have the deep slate there. So yeah, this probably will be enough. I might actually be one piston short, but fine, then we'll just not break one of the bedrocks down here doesn't really matter it is time to build the bedrock breaker right now but before we do that i have an administrative uh, question slash statement i have messed around quite a lot with my recording quality and recording settings uh, because i'm trying to improve the performance of my video editing and also maybe maybe improve the quality of the videos so uh, let me know if anything has changed if anything has gotten better or worse and I'll try to fix it. I'll definitely keep a very, very careful eye out when uh, editing this video, just to make sure that everything looks fine. But just a warning, th th there might be quality changes all over the video because I've been messing around with things. I hope you understand. I'm just trying to improve my process and hopefully also in improve a little bit the visual quality. And uh, well, let's hope it succeeds. Right, uh, one of the corners, not there. We're building the bedrock breakers over there. So let's go there. Uh, uh oh, so I'm building the bedrock breaker right now and I needed to get some uh, cobblestone for just making a ton of furnaces as immovable blocks. And uh, I went to one of the auto crafters to fetch the materials and uh, I found the scariest thing, the absolutely scariest thing you can ever find in a technical build. If you're faint of heart, uh, look away now. Tim, tim, tim. Uh oh, something has gone horribly, horribly, horribly bad somewhere. If you don't understand the significance of this, well, mm, count yourself lucky. But this is the scariest thing I've ever seen. I have no idea what has gone wrong, 
Uh, but, well, we have to fix this. Like, drop everything when you see something like this. It's time to go into panic mode. Uh, it should be this filter, right? Uh, why has this gone bad, exactly? Why did we lose the filter items? Did these filters go bad? No, this is correct. Why did this go bad? And stupid glowing. I I This this scares me. This is not supposed to happen. Does it is it because it got full? Uh, but yeah, that's strange. Never mind. Oh well. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna get myself some cobblestone if I can find it. Should be in one of these hopper towers. This building hasn't been converted to the dropper towers just yet. Does anything else go bad? No, just that one. Why did that one go bad? What happened there? Oh, never mind. Let's ignore that. Let's pretend the problem didn't happen. And let's pretend that I actually have the inventory space to get enough cobblestone to make 300 furnaces. <clears throat> right, but... Next time, do this with a clean inventory. Uh, let's continue. The bedrock breaker is almost done. And uh, that's the last furnace here. So uh, in the original blueprint, these are actually blocks of obsidian. Uh, but I figured that, well, I will have to remove this thing. And I'm pretty sure the obsidian here is just because it's supposed to be immovable, right? Because uh, the blocks here specify where the machine should be, well, continuing to run because it uses these blocks to turn around and move back because that's that's the bedrock breaking part. This is just the return station. We'll get to that, This uh, what design this is. And uh, in the original blueprint, there were just obsidians here. And uh, the obsidians are like when the machine runs out of immovable blocks to run into, uh, it stops bouncing around and, and just runs into the wall here and stops. And uh, I was thinking that, well, this doesn't need to be blast proof. There is a lot of explosions going on, but uh, if this needs to be blast proof, then why aren't the pistons here supposed to be blast proof, right? Uh, that's my thinking here. Uh, this could be a mistake. I have test run this, of course, and uh, it seems to work. Maybe sometimes the furnaces will blow up. Uh, we'll see. It will be exciting to see. Uh, in the worst case, I'll have to rebuild this. This is stupidly easy to build. Uh, there are some icky blocks, uh, like or a lot of icky mechanics here. Uh, like maybe I can... Oh, yeah. Pistons here that are extended... Lots of them are powered through quasi-connectivity, so uh, a lot of things can go wrong. Or maybe if like, if, if I place the observers in the wrong order, things could have gone wrong. But nothing has gone wrong, everything is fine, the machine is built. I have already taken a backup and tested the backup that it works in creative, and it does. So, like I mentioned in the previous episode, this is a bedrock breaker by Vitamin C. I got the blueprint from the technical Minecraft uh, archive Discord. I'm not sure if there is a video, but if there is a video, I'll find a link for you and put it in the description. And if not, I will definitely give you, uh, if possible, I, I'll give you a Discord link where, where you can find the blueprint for this. It's a fantastic design. And like I mentioned in the previous episode, the reasons why I picked it is number one, it has no sticky blocks at the bottom at all, as you can see. Uh, well, the, 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 there are no sticky blocks touching the bedrock. That, that's the important part, because I still have a bunch of, well, usually deep slate, but maybe other blocks that are sticky at the bottom here, uh, because I haven't blown everything up. So that's why I want no sticky blocks at the bottom. And the, the other reason why I wanted this one is because it doesn't use slabs. All the bre bedrock breakers used slabs to control the explosions of the TNT. And uh, this one here uses this magical tube of ancient debris instead. And uh, yeah, it's just ha half the effort of placing the floor. Because if it used slabs, I would probably have to put slabs on top of uh, all these pistons. And uh, like I showed you in the previous episode, uh, we're gonna be pulling these pistons in and uh, by using magic, we're gonna be breaking bedrock with them. I think we're ready. I think uh, it's time 
to run this and uh, or is it no it's not time to run this i have to chunk load the area and this time to prevent the bot from being shot by pillagers uh, my chunk loading bot is gonna stand in this little hut uh, still not on the pressure plate because i don't want to activate a bunch of farms and uh, i'll show you in a second why there we go hello bot stand there actually let's close the door can use that do that by removing that block i don't want to activate the farms because i have found other things we, we, we're gonna need to do a huge cleanup here and uh, what i found is uh, this thing here glow ink sacks in uh, this thing here we probably will see glow squids no but as you can see there is water so there will be glow squids there the infestation is everywhere the good news is that the latest snapshots for 1.18.2 that released just, uh, well, yesterday, two days ago, something like that. There is a way to prevent the glow squid from spawning. Hallelujah! We can fix the glow squid problems without... Because it is pollution. It is absolutely insane down here. Any water stream just has these stupid things spawning in there. I just saw one here somewhere. There, hello. Uh, Hello, Mr. Evil. I liked you before when I could shoot you with lasers. Now that I can't shoot you with lasers, you're no longer fun. Anyway, I am stalling because I am afraid of what's going to happen now. But we are ready. We have a chunk loading player. So let's just go for it. And we are creating the headless pistons. We're pulling in these pistons there. And we should be already seeing bedrocks being broken. There we go. I'm just gonna follow the machine. Oh, if I can. It's kind of hard to jump between the bedrocks. And hey, look at that. I have found a recovery system for pistons, for bedrock breakers. It's very easy. You just run after the machine and pick up the pistons. And uh, that's how you recover them. There is actually... So when I was recording the previous episode, I said there are no machines that recover pistons from the bedrock breakers. And uh, literally a couple of days, I, or maybe even one day before I released the video, Desu Desu, I think it was, released a bedrock breaker that actually recovers pistons. Um, it requires a little bit extra effort, and I don't think that effort is worth it, especially since I have already made most of the pistons I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need. Uh, and no, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna run behind this one and pick up the pistons. Uh, I'm gonna do it now because it's funny for a second. And there we go. That's, that's enough pistons recovered. Let's just see if this is doing right. And I also need to see one more thing. Because in creative, I discovered that I misplaced one of the pistons here, but I have already fixed it. I remembered fixing it, but I wanted to double check. One of these pistons was pointing up. Right. Bedrock is being broken. This is, I think I said, uh, I mentioned that it would take 10 hours at some point. I probably cut that part out, but uh, I, I was completely wrong. It, it doesn't take uh, 10 hours to run this entire area. It's going to take 25 hours. So this is now going to run. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to wake up in the morning. It's going to not even be halfway at that time. And uh, let's see if this goes right or wrong. I hope it's going to go right. I also cleaned up all the blocks that were sticking out a little bit on the sides here. So nothing should stick. Well, things are sticking up up here but that's not where the bedrock breaker is gonna be running so so we're fine and i also flattened the wall back here so we can run as far as we can and then we will run into the wall but eh, that's fine uh, we probably don't need to have the furnaces correctly calculated like i did but i did calculate them correctly so it should be one two three four and on the fifth here there should be a furnace yeah Let's just wait for this machine to finish. There is not much more to do right now.
Right, the Bedrock Breaker should be done more or less now, but uh, before we get to that, uh, I just want to show you something. I did a live stream from here last night, and uh, we did a bunch of things. Actually, moved the portal down so it's finally on the bottom, because that the platform that I had oh, so long time ago where I thought I would build the platform higher up, uh, I finally removed it. Uh, such a relief. I uh, added some beacons because, uh, well, we still don't have all the beacons. We need one beacon in the middle and one over there. Uh, but now most of the beacons are added. It's actually a huge pain to, 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 to get the beacons on the ground here. And, uh, but most importantly, of course, uh, we did... Ow, ow, ow. This finally covered up the, 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 the sides of the dinner plate or flying saucer or whatever people were calling it during the stream. Why are the zombies behind me? There must be a spawner behind me. And uh, this is the final decision on the pattern. Three gold, two redstone. Uh, don't tell me to change it because I won't. This is good enough. Actually, it's it's not bad. It's, I, I like it. We have both the gold, which looks slightly better with the deep slates. And we have the redstone to indicate what this area is about. And uh, let's get to... Why aren't you done? You were supposed to be done five, six hours ago. What's going on? Wait a minute, that's the bomber. Why is that piston? What's going on? Did this thing cra this thing crashed. Why, why did you crash? Why, why did you crash, machine? This is the bit. Yeah, definitely, it has stopped. Did it run into something? It didn't. It's looking fine. This, these pistons are usually kind of weirdly powered, so that's okay. Uh, is, is it stuck on something? Oh, no. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, I missed one anvil. I'm... Oh. <laughs> So, um, if you don't know, the anvils are from the World Eater. They were part of the World Eater because we, we needed anvils on the World Eater for some reason. And I guess, well, the bombers didn't blow it up. I know they didn't blow it up because I kind of removed these anvils manually myself uh, for a while. And this is, I guess, one of the anvils I missed. Uh, are there more anvils? Does it matter? I don't think it matters if there are any more anvils, if they're not sticking out, right? I'm not seeing any anvils here sticking up. I'm just gonna double check. How do I fix this? I'm not gonna send the flying machine over to do anything, because that feels very, very, very dangerous. Uh, so what will I do? Why did it use up all the pistons on this side? What? What, was this on the way back? This must have been on the way back. That's why there is weirdness. He I have no idea why it crashed in this position. But, well, clearly it did. Uh, so many questions, uh, too few answers. I kind of don't want to dwell on this too much. We, we have to definitely fix this. But, oh, that means... I think... I think that bit here... When you start the machine, it moves over one step. That's always... That's how it started in the beginning, so... Uh, oh, these bedrocks, do I have to move everything over? How many bedrocks are there? One, two, three, four... Five, six bedrocks left. Yeah, these ones we don't remove. We, we leave the bedrocks uh, beginning from here. So, I can remove them manually, I guess. Uh, I can do that even later, because it doesn't matter if there are bedrocks on this side of the machine. The machine shouldn't be hurt because of that, because when we start, Yeah, when we started, there were definitely bedrocks that we didn't remove and, and they were under the machine, so that should be fine. Yeah, I, I need to rebuild- at, at least tear this thing down, I'm pretty sure. Put it back here. Shouldn't be a big deal. This is super easy to build. Uh, let's stop it, though. Oh, come on, fly. How do I stop this? I know I needed to power something. I needed to power this piston. Right, I'm not going to power it with an anvil. I'm going to power it with this block of redstone. That is fine. Yeah, I'm tearing that thing down. 
and rebuilding it here. I'm, I'm going to bring up the blueprint to, to, to here just to make sure that everything is fine. But mm, okay, it's not, a, it's not a huge catastrophe. And how much do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's it's an hour left. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Uh, we didn't lose that much time. Uh, I, I will have to break these bedrocks here manually, but it's no big deal. I, I've done that before. I've I've done the whole in my never sealing manually, so this should be a breeze. Uh, it's a disaster, but it's not a big disaster. We're gonna be fine. Alright, that wasn't hard at all. It took just about like 10 minutes to, to tear it down and rebuild it here. I think everything is okay. The only thing that Lightmatica is telling me is wrong is that the TNT is in the wrong position, but that is because, well, it's already assembled, and, and uh, in the blueprints it is uh, supposed to be disassembled and assemble itself on the first step, so I think we're good. So let's break this as safely as we can. I want my block of redstone back, and let's just see. Well, it is creating the headless pistons, so at least that is working. And yes, we have moved to the next row, I'm pretty sure. Will that bedrock get broken? It did get broken. And the next one, and yeah, we're breaking bedrocks. So yeah, we're good. Uh, we're fine. Uh, no big disaster. I lost, well, I, I, I lost an hour because I still have to wait an hour for that to finish. And I was actually hoping that I would build the floor placer now and actually run it so we can start the next layer of bedrock breaking uh, today. Well, I think... For you it will be today because everything is compressed into a short video for this, like obviously since this took 25 hours to run, it, it, you can guess that it, it has been multiple, multiple days for me. But yeah, we're fine. I think we're fine. I'm just gonna see how the machine behaves. Uh, I'm picking up the pistons now because, oh, I'm, I'm such a hoarder. I cannot, I can't let items despawn in my brain. Stupid brain, go away. Don't, don't, don't do that. Let's just see if it misbehaves anywhere here, because we do have unnecessary bed... Yeah, so th these are the unbroken bedrocks, like one, two, three, four, and five. When this moves a couple of blocks in that direction, actually quite a few... No, when it finishes, I'm not gonna mess with this, but when it finishes, I'm gonna break these manually. It it's just like, just a few, so no big deal. And it did turn around... Yeah, I think we're good. I, I think I, I, I rescued the, the project and everything is okay. Perfect. And we are about to start the last row. Let's see let's see if I got it right on the first try. Uh, it, 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 it wasn't the first try, to be honest. Uh, so the machine actually did crash again uh, quite recently. Oh, I think we are doing it. Yes, I think we're doing the last row. Uh, the machine did crash, but uh, it was a very simple explanation. I thought like, oh, I did something wrong. It's broken. No, uh, it just ran into the wall here because this corner isn't properly blown up. As you can see, uh, there is much less stuff. Maybe we can see from this angle. There's much less stuff blown up in the corner than on the walls. So there were blocks here. I cleaned up the blocks. And, uh, yeah, now we should be finishing this with uh, this row of bedrock completely removed. The bombers should return, but this thing should get stuck now. Please, did I count the furnaces correctly? I did not. It's returning. Uh oh, yeah, now I actually, yeah, now I definitely need to stop it manually because we are out of pistons. Oh, I have uh, a block of redstone. It's good. Everything is fine. And it was this piston. There we go. It stopped. It won't do anything more. We're done here. This layer of bedrock has been removed with some adventures, but nothing too awful. One anvil error and one wall error, but uh, yeah, no big deal. Right, let's try to remember how this was done. So uh, this piston needs to be like this, I'm pretty sure. We need to shield it. Uh, there needs to be a TNT, but it will be on top of that block. I'm, I'm just trying to remember how I used to do this, but I think it's something like this. 
We have this. Let's see if I remember the hotkey for fast right click. I do remember the hotkey for fast right click. And I shouldn't fall into a hole. This should work. And there. Bam. It did work. So I did remember how to do this. Awesome. Uh, it's not that many. Like I need to remove... Uh, I, I already forgot how many I need to remove, but it's... Oh, right. Don't have uh, the fast right click on when doing this part. Especially when placing the lever. I remember that because I used to make that mistake all the time. Let's see. Turn it on. Fast right click. Oh! Bam. Awesome. Turn off. Fast right click. Simple enough. I did remember how to do this, which is great. Um, so I messed up really, really badly. Uh, when I got up a few hours ago and checked on the progress here, the machine was dead again. And, well, the, the reason was was actually quite super obvious. So what, what, what happened was basically imagine that uh, the machine is somewhere in, in this state, right? We have a piston here because we have the headless pistons being generated by the TNTs. And uh, we just uh, have a head... Like, imagine that this piston... Wait, uh, this is not correct. Yeah. Imagine that this piston was actually headless. So changing the block under here will not update the piston. That is probably important for what, what happened here. Uh, but basically, there was lava here. And the bedrock that happened to be here got broken. Uh, I wonder what happens then. Yeah, of course, flowing lava and, and well, in this case, flowing water... But flowing lava do update pistons, so I, I have to get rid of the lava. Like, actually, like, getting rid of the lava is super simple now, right? I can just convert it into obsidian. It doesn't really matter, because the obsidian will be just removed, just like bedrock. So that, that's what I did all over here. Um, I converted everything to obsidian or, or cobblestone, I guess, in, in some cases. Oh, give me back my water. Get rid of that, too. I, I will have to do that for every layer. And it is quite obvious, but of course, uh, I fixed it, and uh, I recorded it, me fixing it, and, and some commentary about uh, rebuilding this machine for the fifth time, because, uh, yes, that was the fifth rebuild I did. And um, I did the rebuild by completely tearing the machine down, because uh, that's what I learned in the previous attempts of rebuilding it when something went, went bad. Uh, it is much safer to just tear everything down and build it from scratch. Much easier to understand what's going on and I'm not missing some random components. But I recorded all that and uh, there is a... My, or actually, there might be a segment in the video just before this one. I might not even put it in because it wasn't that awesome. Where I just recorded the floor placer for this layer uh, just silently. And uh, just to you not know, record other things that were going on, because I, I recorded it for quite a bit. Um, I turned off the microphone. Guess what? When uh, the machine broke this morning, I forgot to turn on the microphone again. So, yeah, that happens. And I have uh, entire fixing of this and, and commentary about that and fixing the lava. It's a silent movie. It's not particularly exciting. I, I don't I think I can extract anything useful from it. So there you have it. Uh, the machine broke because of lava. We fixed it by converting lava into obsidian. I'm making these mistakes and showing them to you so you don't have to. That should probably be the slogan of this channel. Making the mistakes so you don't have to. Anyway, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. Start the next layer as well so it's done. But there is not much more to show. Well, unless a mistake happens uh, before I finish editing the video, then I will add the mistake too. But uh, that's how we remove all the bedrock. Well, I might actually not remove the last layer. I don't know. Uh, we're definitely having two more layers to remove. That's going to take about three days or, or so. It's, it's oh, Actually, it's less than 25 hours per, per layer. Because, um, well, as you can probably guess, 
the machine doesn't perfectly fit in the previous layer, right? So there is quite a bit of overhang here. Um, I might start rotating it just to make these bits on the sides lower, but I haven't really thought about that. It's, it's not a huge deal. It's more of a vanity project. The, 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 the voiding is, well, I'm not going to void, or maybe I will, um, but it has no real practical purpose. It's, it's just a fun thing I wanted to do. I wanted to remove a lot of bedrock. Well, and now we have done it. Well, we will finish this, of course. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that will be it for me today. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, have a good bedrock breaking. Bye.